Commanders at the Pentagon say they'll deploy a missile defense system to the U.S. Pacific Territory of Guam. They say they need to strengthen their defenses against threats from North Korea. North Korean state TV has been showing footage of mass anti-U.S. rallies it says have been held across the country. Marchers carried banners pledging their lives to dear Marshal Kim Jong-un and his Central Party Committee. After days of increasing tension and angry words, the North Korean military is threatening that a war could be just hours away. In a statement to the country's news agency, it says, We formally informed the White House and Pentagon that the ever-escalating U.S. hostile policy towards the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and its reckless nuclear threat will be smashed by the strong will of all the United Service personnel and people. And cutting-edge smaller, lighter, and diversified nuclear strike, the merciless operation of its revolutionary armed forces in this regard has been finally examined and ratified. This isn't the first time that North Korea has threatened to use nuclear weapons. Over the years, the blistering rhetoric has become a familiar part of the cycle of periods of relative calm and periods like now of rising tension. Nobody believes that North Korea actually has the capability to hit America with the nuclear devices it's developing and its rocket program is in its infancy, but no one's taking any chances. Our weapons are ready. Regarding North Korea's statement today, our military readiness is already high. We're able to manage any possible crisis. U.S. Secretary of State Chuck Hagel is taking the saber-rattling seriously. Thank you. Uh, as they have ratcheted up their bellicose, dangerous rhetoric, and some of the actions they've taken over the last few weeks uh, uh, present a, a, a real and clear danger. In another move, North Korea has told South Korean firms operating in the Kaesong Industrial Zone to withdraw by April the 10th. The association has asked the North to extend the deadline until the 13th, but has yet to receive a reply. <laughs> Security analysts say North Korea's threats are more for internal consumption to demonstrate the strength of the young leader Kim Jong-un. North Korea doesn't really have a missile that can reach Guam, so it's a, it's a one symbolic move being matched by another symbolic move. The real danger in this is that something gets out of control. Chuck Hagel agrees. He says it only takes one mistake, and he doesn't want to be the man that makes it. <laughs> Detrani says Kim Jong-un may be listening to hardliners telling him to escalate tensions in hopes of then getting concessions on sanctions. And I think uh, Kim Jong-un is listening to people who are giving him some very bad advice. The fundamental problem remains lack of intelligence. The U.S. simply doesn't know how close North Korea is to a nuclear warhead and being able to put that nuclear warhead on top of a missile. If they can do that, and they can deliver that weapon to a target, that changes everything.